Welcome back. Another quick tutorial on how to use your TI-36 Pro. Today, we're doing a little matrix math. How do you do a cross product of two vectors? How can I cross vector A and vector B? So here's vector A, 3i plus 4j minus 7k. Here's vector B, 8i minus 5j plus 2k. So there's a couple ways to do this, and today we're going to do this using the vector function. Okay. So step one is to uh, look at the vector function. So we're going to second vector, and then we've got to edit. Go over here to edit, okay? And then we're going to edit U and V. This is going to be our U. This is going to be our V. You can call them whatever you want. So no matter what you're crossing here, uh, it gives you the option for three different vectors. We're going to do two. So here we go. Vector U. Enter. And this is a three dimension, right? X, Y, Z. So let's go over here to three and OK, and then enter these constants in here. So we get 3, enter, 4, enter, and minus 7, enter. OK, so we have the vector u in there. So we can go second, quit, and then we can go back to the vector. And you'll see now that u has something stored in it. So we'll go back over to edit. Uh -uh. And let's go down to vector v, and let's put this guy in for vector v. So enter. Three dimension again. Okay, and then here we go. We got eight, enter, negative five, enter, two, enter. Okay, so now we have both. I'm gonna go second quit again. Now, if you go back to vector, right, you'll see that we have a vector entered for U and a vector entered for V. So now let's cross these guys. So we go over to math, bloop, and then we go down to cross product. This is the cross product. So that's number two. Hit enter. And it says cross product of what? Well, we want to do A cross B, or in our case, U cross V, right? So let's go here to second vector. And let's put in our U. Whoops. There's our U. Enter. And then comma. There's the comma. And let's put in our V. Second vector. Here comes V. Enter and then close parentheses. So cross product of U comma V, and then just hit enter. And there it is. Your, your vector is minus 27 I hat, minus 62 J hat, minus 47 K hat. So there's one way to do a cross product on your TI-36. Make sure you, because when you do, when you do Kramer's rule by hand, a lot of opportunity for error. So use your TI-36 to make sure you don't make an algebra mistake. Hope this helps.